much sure of that. What's up everyone, Chris from Full Steam Designs. Today we're going to be taking a look at the new 40 watt laser module from Xtool. This puts out a true 40 watts of power and is supposedly capable of cutting through three quarters of an inch of plywood, which is pretty crazy for a diode laser. I'll put an affiliate link in the description if you'd like more information or you'd like to purchase one. Anything purchased through this link will help support the channel. You'll pay the same great price, but I'll get a small kickback from the company. If you're not familiar with Xtool, they're always innovating and trying to come out with the next best thing. When 5 watt lasers were the norm, they sent me their 10 watt to test out and it was pretty impressive. So I'm super excited to see what this new 40 watt can do. At this time, Xtool only sells this as an upgrade to a pro machine. So you need one of those to start. First thing we need to do is swap some parts over. On top of the laser module, Xtool also sends you a new gantry, some sensors, and some other small parts. As always, they provide really nice full color instructions that are easy to follow. You'll notice a few differences in the new laser module. Obviously, it's quite a bit bigger. When they added an air assist to the Pro models, it attached to the side and you needed some fittings and a new guard to make it work. They've eliminated all of that and built it right into the new module. You just connect your airline here and you're ready to go. To get started, I wanted to do a power and speed test. This is 5mm plywood. I'm running this considerably faster than I would with even a 20 watt diode. I just want to point out that all of the cutting footage in this video is in real time. I want you to be able to see just how fast this machine is actually moving. Now here's the real test. How many pieces will just drop right out when I pick it up? That's pretty good, and I think a few more will pop free without much extra effort. Here's a similar test I did with the 20 watt atom stack I tested a couple weeks ago. As you can see, I'm running the X-Tool much faster. And honestly, all of the cuts seem to be much cleaner. You'll be able to cut a variety of materials. This video will mostly focus on wood, but here's a piece of acrylic. I just want you to see how clean these cuts are. Usually I get a lot of distortion in the edges due to it melting, but this isn't a problem with the 40 watt module. I think some of the coolest things you can make with a laser like this are some nice raised letter signs. These make great gifts and are pretty popular on sites like Etsy and Facebook Marketplace if you're looking for a product to sell. In this demo, I'm just making a small one of my logo out of 5mm plywood. Look at how crisp even these little details are. You also get a really fine kerf. The pieces fit back together fairly tight, almost like a puzzle. One thing that I noticed right away is that this machine is pretty quiet when compared to the others on the market. This noise is the compressor. The fan on the laser is a little noisier, but one nice feature is that it isn't always running. It only comes on when the laser is actually in use. This was one complaint I had about the 8 -zero. Because of the fine curved cuts and sharp corners you can get with a laser like this, you can make things that snap together. Put a link to the site I got this file from in the description. I didn't make any adjustments to it and it worked pretty well. This is just a simple phone holder, but there are many things you can make from various animals to boxes. Xtool has a great rotary attachment called the RA2 that you can add to these machines. I've always wanted to try cutting something like this, but the other lasers I had just didn't seem to have the power. First, I'm just going to try a simple circle. That worked better than expected. Again, this video isn't sped up at all. That was 500 millimeters per minute, and it cut it in a single pass. Next, I tried something a little more complicated. This is just a test, but I can see a lot of potential here.
whole vase with a hexagon pattern would be really cool. For this next test, I wanted to try cutting something a little thicker. This is 3 quarter inch plywood. It seemed to work best making 3 to 4 passes and keeping the speed up. That cut down on the charring on the edges. Once again, the kerf is pretty small and the pieces fit back together like a puzzle. This laser also does a great job of cutting solid woods like this maple. In many cases, this will actually cut nicer than plywood because it doesn't have all the glue. I know I mostly covered cutting in this video, and that's just because I think that's where this machine really shines. But of course, you can still do really detailed engravings, and it can definitely do them a lot faster than other lasers. I really can't get over what this machine is capable of, and I never thought I'd be doing stuff like this with a diode laser. It would really help me out if you guys would give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and leave a comment. As always, thank you all for watching, and I'll see everyone over on one of these other videos.